um, an advantage, uh, do you think, um, must, uh, you have an edge over the other candidates just because you're used to facing the cameras? Actually, Michelle and I have talked about this. We have a pressure in the sense that people expect a lot from us because we're used to being in front of the camera or we're used to memorizing lines or whatever it might be, talking to people, talking to press. But pageantry for me is like an entire different thing. You change your mindset. You focus on something completely different. And I think that's where the challenge comes from. On top of that, we do have the pressure. But I think that it kind of has pros and cons of being an artista because yes, we have experience, but also there is a lot of pressure on us. But I think everyone has their own pressures, so I think we're all, we all have fair game, fair game for everyone. Well, like Kelly said, I mean, it does have its own pros and cons, but honestly, we're in a room full of beautiful and talented people. We have nurses, we have lawyers, and we all go through the same type of training. We all go through different steps in for the journey to be Miss World or to have one of the other crowns. And uh, yes, it, it's kind of hard because you're put under the spotlight and you have certain expectations that are put in your head, not only being an artista, but my, my family members as well, they're very good and very well known in the pageant industry. And that adds an extreme amount of pressure on my head. And actually it's one of those reasons why I've been hesitant to join because I feel like, well, prior to this, I felt like I wasn't good enough. But what the pageantry has taught me is that besides being an artist and besides, ha besides having all of these expectations, it's really, like one of the other girls mentioned, it's really about the journey. It's really about what you can take from everything. So although being an artist has its slight advantage with publicity and all of that, I really do believe na pantay lang po yung laban dito. I, really, I believe that it is a fair game. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. And I'm just really grateful for all these beautiful candidates who are helping each other out. And these are very, very talented. So I think it's a fair game. There are pros and cons, but at the end of the day, we all just have to enjoy, and the people will see that when we're on stage. So, thank you, Bob. One last, or hey, Michelle, Michelle, Michel, people, that is a very good one. Uh, isang tanong, kung ako pala si Conan, ang tapis ng Conan Lili, uh, maaari niyo ba kami bigyan ng isang bagay tungkol sa lungso, babayan na nire-representan nire nyo na eh, mga well, prior to moving back here, I was born here in the Philippines when I was raised in the States. And ever since I moved back here, I've been a Makati girl. I, I've, I've never known any, I've never lived anywhere else than Makati. And honestly, even though so many people dislike Makati because of the traffic or because it's always, uh, let's say, magulo, but I, I love the tenacity of the people that are there. I love the fact that everybody feels so driven. Everybody has their own purpose. Everybody just inspires me. It kind of reminds me of whenever I walk in the streets of New York, where everybody is so passionate about what they do, where everybody really just has their own place and that they're really fighting for their place. And that's why I really love Mahati and that's why I'm very proud to represent him. Thank you. family lives in Samar, my mom and my grandfather, my great grandfather lives in Samar, going in Samar. Um, but uh, I vote in QC and I grew up in Quezon City. It's a fun place. All my, my work is there, it's nearby and uh, it's a very colorful uh, city, Quezon City. That's why I chose to represent Quezon City. Questions. Because after this, we will ask the all the candidates to go down to the poolside.